Uh, thank you so much. You gave me this earlier today, and I'm really yes. happy. What am I wearing from the Whoopi line? You're sort of wearing, you know, Elf on a Shelf and Mensch on a Bench. Yeah, there you go. You know, That's which wonderful. is actually a, a doll that uh, somebody made a couple of years ago, and I just thought, well, they should meet. So you, but this is a passion of yours. Yes. Uh, holiday sweaters. Yes. You do not like them to be called. You do not believe these are ugly holiday sweaters. No, I do believe they're. I, okay. I call them ugly holiday sweaters, and people keep saying, "No, they're not. They're really great." And I, I said, "Okay, whatever you like. They're just holiday sweaters." And do these help you? Do you find this helps you with the holiday spirit? No. You know what? I always have the holiday spirit uh -huh. because if, when I was a kid. Uh, my mother made them magical, and so I was raised to believe that children should have the holidays to be children. They can be, the, you know, you can mess them up any other time of the year, but never during the holidays. <laughs> How did your mother go about making it magical? What would she do? Well, there, so you'd go to bed. My brother and I had had an, I have a, had an older brother, and uh, so we'd go to sleep and we'd wake up and. In the old days, you, there was this pink stuff that used to clean windows, but every holiday season, they would give you stencils. So you'd stencil like a Christmas tree or Christmas balls or whatever, and we'd wake up, and there'd be like stuff on the windows. And she would never say anything about it. It was just, ooh, stuff is happening. <laughs> and then, the, like, a tree would appear. And then the next day, there'd be a couple of things on the tree, and then there'd be some tinsel on the tree. And so up until Christmas Eve, the tree got done, and she never said a word. It was like it happened magically. Oh, wow. So you and never saw her doing never, any of it. You never saw her doing it. And she would never say, oh, what do you think of the tree? She would just do everything that your mother would be doing normally, she'd be doing. And we'd be like, what happened? <laughs> How did this happen? Because, you know, I grew up in the project, so there was no chimney. Right. OK? Oh, yeah. yeah. So when okay. something gets added to the tree, it means someone broke someone into the apartment. Someone was in there. Yeah. So we then. <laughs> would go to sleep and it would be barren. It was just no toys or anything. And man, we wake up the next day and I don't know where she hid everything. I don't know how she did it because she was a, a really hard working woman. But we had Christmas like we were the wealthiest people in the world as kids. And I just think that when someone, a parent or whoever the person is that's raising you, wants to make it so much fun that you just, you never forget that feeling, you know, that smell for me, turkey and the smell of the tree on Christmas morning. So these are just meant to make you smile and, and think, hey, you know what, it's, good times are coming. It's, it's hard, you know, it's hard to keep chipper, but I think you have to keep chipper for the kids. Yeah. You, you deserve, kids deserve a, a, a better time sometimes than we give them. And I just, I think holidays do that. And it doesn't matter what you celebrate. You know, I, I, I'm trying to hit everybody who's celebrating the holidays so that we can, when we say happy holidays, you know, you don't walk up and say, hey, are you Jewish? Happy uh, Hanukkah. No, you say happy holidays because I don't know what you like. Yeah. I don't know what you like. <laughs> I don't know what you celebrate, but happy whatever. <laughs> so instead of saying happy whatever, you say happy holidays, which yeah. is nice. It's nice. It's yes. nice to cover everybody. I think so. You